check out this fog. This is kind of cool. It just rolled in out of nowhere. Less than a minute ago down the road, it was perfectly clear. Hey everyone, right now we're driving through New Hampshire on our way to Vermont to check out the abandoned Lindenville Air Force Base. There's a bunch of military housing buildings we're gonna look at on the bottom of that east mountain. Then we're gonna climb up top, hopefully with the car, because the road is almost 10 miles long. If that road is blocked for whatever reason, that's gonna take the better part of the day. And as soon as we get to the top, there's gonna to be three radar towers that we are gonna be able to explore along with more buildings up there. The place was built back in 1953 and it shut down in 1963. It was renamed in 1962, so it was only called the Lindenville Air Force Base for one year. And look at this, like nothing, the fog is gone. It's really cool. We've been rolling through fog all morning. Every now and then we'll get a downpour of rain, but it ends immediately. We should be there in another hour or so. This is in northern Vermont. And it's out in the middle of nowhere. The roads I know are in very bad condition because it's been abandoned for 60 years. The only thing keeping it open is explorers. And this place, usually when I go to these places, I don't really say what they are. The reason I'm saying what this is is because it's already completely vandalized, burned down, and scrapped, unlike some other places we've explored. And look at this, it's suddenly raining again. Uh, we're going over the Connecticut River. Now we're officially into Vermont. All right, everyone, we just turned off of the main road. We're going through a neighborhood now, but there's no more pavement. We're approaching Radar Road in a couple of miles, and that will bring us to the base but that road is likely going to be very treacherous. There's multiple barricades that we gotta drive around. If you guys recall, just back in July, it's now September 11th, a lot of Northern Vermont had severe damage to their roads. I'm hoping this abandoned road we're about to go on is even passable anymore with all that storm damage from the flooding just two months ago. That is something I'm thinking about on my way up here because I just literally drove over a couple spots I could tell were washed out that got repaired. It's getting very rural out here. There's not many houses anymore. The fall colors are starting to come in. I see a lot of leaves dropping in the road. Wow, look at the trees in this area. Higher elevation, it really looks like we're getting into fall just driving a little bit more. I love northern Vermont. There's a bunch of tiny little farms just tucked into these mountains. And we're coming right up on this road in just a minute. Yeah, 0.1 miles. I think, yeah, we're, this is the road. Um, no, next one. I just drove by a house or a garage. I was completely sided with old license plates. I've been up here before, I remember that. I just didn't know this was here. This is the road, this is Radar Road. Right here, no sign or anything for it. And now, how many miles do we got? We got almost 10 miles to go. This road should be good for another five until we hit a fork. Oh, it just got narrow fast. Yep, narrow really fast, faster than expected. Gotta keep it slow and hopefully we don't pass anyone. It's not that bad yet, but I know it's going to become so tight pretty soon that we'll be scraping trees. All right, let's see what this says. Nope, this is just logging. All right. Look at the yellow trees. It's getting pretty up here. everyone a couple miles deep into radar road looks like maybe we got enough room to pull over where someone can pass we're not gonna be long I just want to quickly look at a building that was probably for hydropower another vehicle can pass me but maybe not a log truck so I just want to quickly look at this leave the truck running maybe this was hydro or something related maybe part of an old dam 
maybe the lower section of a dam. Just wanted to get this thing on camera. It's really not anything anymore. Climb up here. The river's going pretty well because it's been raining all night. It's actually starting to rain again right now. What do you guys think this used to be? I think that's definitely something to do with a hydro dam or something, the way it's there. You can tell water used to pass through it somehow. Maybe we'll find more remnants of a dam further up here. All right, we're going over a logging bridge. There's definitely active logging going on out here. I've seen some of their sites. We're going right over that same river. This is very pretty. And look, there's a truck. Very active right here, going around this corner. And we're going the right way. Yep. All right, everyone. Thankfully, we made it down the entire active section of logging road without encountering a log truck. Look at those fresh tractor trailer tracks going around the corner to the left. They're active today since it's been raining. Good, all logging traffic is sticking to the left and we're going to the right. There's no sign of truck traffic coming down here, so we don't have to worry anymore. This is, right now, I believe, we're entering the property of the base. I think we better go down this road first, because somewhere right at the beginning, there's supposed to be military housing. Maybe it's here. This is a very sketchy bridge, but I know how these things are built. Don't expect it to collapse. All right, we're good. Yeah, this might just be some logging. This might be logging, like, storage. Yeah, it is. When I was scouting the place out with satellite, yes, it is. It's exactly what I saw on the internet. It's a lot full of culvert pipes and debris. And there's a fire pit here. Somebody's been camping out here. Yeah, this is just logging. All right, we got to get back to the main road now. I'll show you guys anything exciting we might find along the road. Otherwise, this will be posted on my second channel as a full-length vlog. Tackling this very... It's supposed to be very difficult road. Look at this bridge. See how it's becoming crooked? I think that we got some erosion going on with the supports underneath. But considering how active the tire track's going, that's the only reason I risked it right there. Okay, look at this road. Look at the erosion in the road no tires no there's been no one going down this road since it last poured out i can see it's all eroded up no tire marks going through that fresh silt but that just tells us no one's been here like in the last day or so oh the gate is open that is an awesome sign because this place as far as i could tell it is open to explore but they don't necessarily want your vehicle there and there are some blockades that we should be able to make make it around it with this truck but I've seen some people get forced to turn around or walk I was watching some other people's videos of the place none of them within the last two years so that's the only thing I'm skeptical about if we'll be able to even go up here or not Okay, it says on my map actually, less than four miles, just under four miles until we get to the radar station. Not terrible if we had to walk it, but I really would rather not. So any distance we can make towards it is beneficial. If we can make it right there, that's even more awesome. The, the cool thing is if we make it all the way up there, we can literally drive into the base out of the rain. This section of road is definitely used for logging at certain points, so we might not even be on the base's property yet. Wow, this road used to be paved or something? I'm seeing like chunks of asphalt everywhere. Good amount of erosion. Ah This road looks like it used to be paved. 
there's there's sections of log roads in Maine. They paved the big hills to stop them from washing out. And despite the potholes, they're doing their job. But they they don't fix it with as, asphalt. They just keep putting gravel over the holes. Cause they're not gonna bring paving stuff that deep out for that. see any sign of asphalt right here but I saw the chunks further down there wow this is real bumpy boom look at this big ruts asphalt again look at this this is asphalt oh some power lines those aren't being used anymore they're all disconnected oh my gosh we made it to the housing and stuff look at this whole area is paved wow we made it to the military housing you can tell this has been actively explored by people look at the roads are still this open Abandoned 60 years and they're still standing these metal skeletons of buildings. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. And there's even an apple tree with apples all over the ground. This is so cool. Can we drive down in here anymore? And then we'll get out and explore. I can see parts of the building buckling from the weight of snow in the winter. I gotta be careful where I'm driving. Make sure we don't run over a piece of sharp debris. Are we coming right back out to the road or we gotta turn around? Oh, I see a little pump house in there. Yeah, we come, yeah, we, look at this, I missed this building. We're coming right back out to the same road. I don't think we're gonna find anyone in here, but just me driving around would probably make anyone nervous in here. If we can put on the fluorescent vest, maybe, and we got the flashing lights on the push bar going. All right. Yeah, let's find somewhere to park in here. You guys don't know how excited I am to be here. We haven't explored a giant complex that's been abandoned like this in a while. It's so quiet out here. Look at this. Yes, this is asphalt. This whole thing is paved. I imagine the whole thing was paved at some point before it deteriorated. Before we look at the cool buildings, let's come over here. This far out in the middle of nowhere, I'm imagining the power lines probably didn't come out here, especially back in these days, back in the 60s and 50s. I highly doubt it. I bet this is all from a power plant or something. Maybe we'll find an old generator in one of these buildings. Let's see what we got. Yeah, look at this. This was likely a generator building. What do you guys think? Got a breaker panel. 
This was likely a generator building. This is so cool. Look at this. This probably was a big fan. I, I love the lack of graffiti out here. This is so cool. That looks like an, an exhaust fan or something. Look how beautiful the woods is. Good thing I brought some boots. So these buildings, the ones that are missing, you just see the foundation arsonist burned them down. Also, these buildings are all completely made out of metal. Most of them. They were scrappers that came out here and did that. This is cool. We had a friend out here. Moose poop. We're so deep in the middle of the wilderness now. We went through little hours of small towns in northern Vermont and New Hampshire to get here. There's so few people that actually live out here. This is so cool. You can see just the vandalism here. This is a pit. You go down here to work on vehicles. So you don't need a lift or anything. This is good for doing oil changes and stuff. Just like any auto shop. Look at the amount of bullet holes through that door. Bullet holes it looks like in the walls. This is extremely cool. And got like a little office right here. Lots of piles of, this is like insulation filled with mouse feces. And in here, had another tiny room. And um, not, whoa, it's just dripping water. What do we got in this room? Not much, just a lot of debris. You gotta admit this building is in pretty good shape for being abandoned this long. Someone was setting off fireworks in here. There's a washing machine. That might be where that, there's a tag over there that says like a name of an appliance. How much you wanna bet this fuel tank has never been cleaned and it might be leaking on the ground. What do you guys think? That's a pretty big fuel tank. It's really interesting too that the this is where the fuel must have came out of to run their furnaces or generators it's not even near the bottom look how much space there is for water and stuff to collect beneath the oil and right here that was something probably very weak like a 22 it couldn't even go through the thin tank and that vent right there is really cool i've never seen one like that on an oil tank it's even got a little ladder to climb up it that's so cool. And here's the other side. I think I'm gonna go get my headlamp and then we will continue on our way to the other buildings. Now we're walking to the other buildings. I see very deep tracks from an excavator or something. Not sure if those are from after or before this place was abandoned. Maybe before, when the asphalt was really soft. When I come out to explore these places, I like to do it in detail. More of a point of view walk around. Because a lot of the videos that I personally saw of this place, they just showed some of the exciting things. I'd rather have a video that's full length. Look at these. This is probably a pump house, like I said on my way in, and I didn't even see these pipes. Or it goes down to a septic tank, but I'm pretty sure these are drilled wells by the looks of them. And this was probably a pump house for the facility. There's also some mangled metal back there. All right, this is really cool. What do we got in here? This looks really awesome. Is this a heating system? It looks like the inside of like a steam train. It's some sort of big boiler. I see some asbestos up here. 
There's asbestos and stuff surrounding this tank. Don't want to go in here too much. Don't want to disturb too much of it, but that is actually extremely cool what I'm seeing. Can anyone answer if that's for like a heating system or is it some kind of generator or just to make power? What's this room? Look at the floor, it's like a locker room. Oh my gosh, this place is cool. Look at this hole. It goes right into the boiler room. I don't think I even need the headlamp. This room with all the shelves is awesome. Someone painted a little crow right there. Look at the apple tree outside. Yeah, on my drive-in, I saw apples everywhere. So this used to be a mess hall. Like a cafeteria and dining area. Just look at the size of these hoods above where they'd be cooking. Here's the bathroom. Got some smashed toilets. And over here, you see how the side of the building is like buckling. I'm pretty sure that buckling is from the weight of snow. Not from being on the roof, but it's sliding off the roof and piling and pushing back in. This building looks very strong. Look at the beams this thing's made out of. The roof is failing, but I think this thing is long from falling down. And you see from arsonist in here, there's ash everywhere. This whole building looks like there was a massive fire in here. You see all the wooden framing? And the ceiling, it's all been burned away. Whole ground is just littered with insulation. And this place has been severely damaged in just the past five years from videos I saw of it. Right here we have a massive air handler. It's littered in thousands and thousands of bullet holes. That actually looks really cool. Just glimmering through all the little holes. This place is awesome. And that insulation, it just looks so gross. When I see stuff like that, I every time I've dealt with insulation like that, it's usually soaked in mouse pee. But not this time. It just smells like a giant fire. Look at this really old grill. That's cool. See, there's apple trees all over the place. Are these crab apples or is this something I can eat? What's that smell like? Oh, those are good apples. I crushed it so I can easily smell it. Even got a little taste out of that. Yeah, there's so many apples. Look at them all. And they're good. All right, let's walk around here. These are some of the buildings that people actually lived in when they were working here at this base. They were these were pretty strong buildings to not get ripped apart by 60 years of elements. This building's completely gone, but you can see the outline of where all the ceramic tiles were. Another giant fuel tank. Was anyone able to shoot through this one? I'd, yep, someone definitely used something way stronger on that. That other one I showed over there, it just left little dents. Yeah, this is the same thickness and everything. All right, so you see all these holes came out. These ones all went through the tank twice from the other side. These went in from this side. Those ones here look maybe like a nine millimeter. This is maybe like a five, five, six, tiny but powerful coming through the other side. This place is so creepy. If you just be really quiet, you can hear crows squawking, water dripping on pieces of metal. Right here, we're walking out the back door. You see, there used to be a wall right here coming out of the back of this building. There's some other building in there we'll go check out in a minute. See, there's little sidewalks and stuff going between all the little buildings. Lots of people hang out here on a good day. These trails are so open. I wonder what this big hump is, what's in there. 
big hump of ground under the trees. All right, we're going in. All right, got all the dripping water. Oh, it smells like pee in here. Hello? Just exploring. We're in Vermont, a relatively good area. So I'm not worried about leaving the vehicle around. Look at this, someone just smashed this wall down. Look at those valves. That looks really cool in there. And look, another boiler in there. Probably heating oil fired. That's really cool. The scrappers really got to this place because I don't see anything like baseboards or radiators. This right here is probably a bathroom. I don't see a hole for the toilet, but I see the hookups for the sink, faucets, and drains. Right here was probably, like a, what, a locker room? Most of this that you're seeing is vandalism. It's dripping in here on my head. Coming in here really slowly. Yeah, right here is some baseboard heaters from the boiler room. Is this the... Yeah, this is showers. See the drains? This would have been a shower room. Be careful in this room. I don't think this room has a basement, but the floor felt soft going in. It's likely just hardwood floor with maybe a little crawl space underneath this. Look at that, there's one hole right there leaking, but amazingly most of the roof here in the gymnasium is not leaking. This is so cool, look at this. The gym just goes out into nothing. We've got the big tall chimney right there above the boiler. I'm getting dripped on. This is actually super duper cool. It's such a tiny gym. I like this. It's this is cool. It's got not it's not as bad off as I thought it was gonna be. It smells a little musty in here. The building's new enough to have sheetrock. But amazingly, you know something I'm not seeing anywhere? Mold. I don't see mold anywhere in this place. All right, let's go on to the next building. This is so cool, everyone. I love this place. Look at this place. Now we're gonna walk outside. Get all this dripping water. All right, I wanna go see the housing buildings, but first I wanna look at one place by the road. It's a little out of the way, but I feel like I should get it done first. And look at us, we're walking underneath more apple trees. They're everywhere. Yeah, let's follow this arrow. This is the building I was talking about. Maybe just a generator building or whatever. But look at this big hill right here. Something's buried in there, I wonder what. So what is this? Ah, it's, yep, it's some kind of heat generation building or something. Looks like a rack for shoes or maybe Maybe those were mailboxes for the people who were here. Look at that. They're not locked or anything. People had enough respect not to touch other people's stuff, especially in the military. Look at this. Here's another building. And look at that. There's another heating oil tank. Look how tall, look how high up it is because it was gravity fed to the furnace that was also high off the ground. That's just a standard, it looks like, 275-gallon tank. Maybe it's a 330. I'm not an expert, but those are the standard sizes. Look at this. Looks like another well. Or maybe it's a septic tank. I don't know. There's a manhole there that's filled to the brim with water. There's another one. Maybe septic. That, that looks really gross. It's full of mosquitoes. Wouldn't want to fall in that. And we got one more building here. Can we even get into it? 
Look at this, we got nice pavement going up to it. Got the telephone poles, most likely sitting there with some transformers. Oh look, we can look in it. And this is the road we're gonna go up pretty soon, once we're done here. Completely caved in. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful picture. Look at the moss growing all over that boiler. That is so cool. The deterioration on this building is so cool. Look at this. The mechanics in here. It's absolutely beautiful, the growth inside here. Wow. I kind of want to take a picture of myself with that. And we got another fuel tank with a really cool ladder going up it. So many apple trees. Look at this. More. More. And they're not even all ripe yet. Where are the things like deer? We did see the pile of moose poops that was fresh. Maybe they're liking this. Let's go on in here. More fire damage. Be careful where I step. This is cool. If I listen carefully, I can hear raindrops all over the roof. This right here is like walking through a gigantic culvert. I imagine this would have been comfortable back in the day. Look at the, it was well insulated. And I'm pretty sure the building here only crushed because someone tried burning it down, which basically compromised the metal strength. Right here, looks like we got another giant furnace. Yep. Let's go back outside here. You see there's another little doorway. Ah, oh, right through a massive spider web. And through some water. Let's go around back because there's another building there. See this portion of building's gone. Scrap metal collectors. So what do you guys think? Were any of these boiler looking things generators? Did every building have its own generator? Because there's a lot of these buildings. Look at this. Lots of dripping water. Doesn't look like anything else here in the woods. Right here we got a road. Going right behind where we just were. Some beautiful fall colors. And look at this. Wow, this one still has the doorway intact. Finally, we get to see one. The rest of them, people burned them down because look, they're just made out of plywood. This is cool. Wow, this one's still got stuff in it. Up here is a giant nest from hornets. Oh my gosh, we're not going in here. Oh, maybe we can. Look at this. I actually thought that was a mattress for some reason on the way in. Yeah, I'd rather not go in there. I could squeeze through there, but it's kind of gross and I don't want to come across something like an angry raccoon that could potentially be in there. This kind of reminds me of a very, very old mobile home back when they were made out of metal like that. So look, that whole thing there just crushed. But that one doesn't appear to be fire damaged. These structures are so cool. And look again with the apples. There's so many apples, I can literally smell it. Look at this, 60 years later, the storm drain's not even clogged. All right, it's time to grab the vehicle and continue up the road. Doesn't look like anything else more to explore. A lot more foundations, places that have been scrapped completely and burned down. Look at the apples all over the road. That must be why I'm smelling them so strong. You know how many I must have just crushed driving through here? Look at this, I can't believe scrappers didn't take all this duct work. You know, that's likely why it's there. Somebody probably pulled all this duct work out 
next to the road so they could pick it up, but they never came back. Maybe they got caught halfway through it. This place is a hundred times better than I thought it would be. running through all the apples. All right, we're going back out to the main road. Woo! All right, we're in for some treacherous adventures now. This road's gonna get bad fast. And look at this, we got back in the car just in time. The, it just started raining a lot. Wow, these places are flooded out. Look at this. Look at this, there's a barbed wire fence. Gotta watch out for that kind of stuff being in the road. Wow, look how narrow we're getting. That's probably more logging up that way. Look at this, this is so narrow. Trying to fix the camera so you don't have to see the hood as much. All right, look at this. Kind of want the window open a little bit. It's not raining that hard. Look how flooded out we are. Oh my gosh. This is the first road barricade. Take a look at it. They didn't want people going up here when it was abandoned, so they put this massive tank in the road. But I think we can go around it. I just gotta get out. That's the smart thing to do. We gotta scout this out. Because in other people's videos, this was not flooded when we had to drive through the bottom. All right, we stepped out of the truck for a minute and so many people must have come here over the years. I saw some guy's video just last night about this place and this pavement was up to here. It's just so, so many people going around it. So look at this giant tank they just left here blocking the road. I'm assuming someone dragged it a little bit at some point. But what do we got? See how this whole area is flooded? It looks like maybe angry beavers have done this. All right, this is not a problem at all. I'm just stepping down here. I want to make sure this mud is solid. That's the smart thing to do. You don't want to just drive down here and possibly sink and get stuck in a place like this where there's, I literally have not had a signal for a couple dozen miles. Yep, absolutely beavers. Look at this. These beavers within a couple years. This is an abandoned road. No one's coming here to fix this. These beavers, this dam is going to keep getting bigger. Unless people drive through it enough ruining the beaver dam, these beavers are going to make these towers impassable in a couple of years. But what I'm seeing right now, this is a strong culvert. Look how shiny it is. So many people must drive up here. This is awesome. We can 100% drive through here. And look, the pavement starts back up. That is so cool. Look at that. This whole abandoned place is still nicely paved. But these beavers, they're being troublemakers out here. These beavers are trying to help this place become more and more abandoned. I think these beavers will be successful eventually, especially if the road part of the year, that looks brand new, that beaver dam. If this road is impassable, like in the spring with deep snow, they, they might block this enough where someone can't go through it. This was not flooded in anyone else's video. And look at the trees, I can tell this wasn't flooded just a couple months ago. All right, we're back in. This is not, this does not look scary at all. The only thing is, see how tight that is up there? How am I gonna turn around if someone else comes? I'm hoping there's more places to turn around up here. Down into the deep water. Going up here over this culvert. This is sketchy. Don't wanna hit the edge. I'm so glad I don't have a full-size truck. I'm a lot more narrow. Awesome. Awesome. Here we go. Amazing. Yeah, we're hitting things on the edges. This is one of those scratch up your paint roads. These tight little 
little roads like this deep in the middle of nowhere without a signal give you like those movie wrong turn vibes. It's like a tunnel, look at this. The clearance on this road is literally like seven feet. If I had anything on my roof, I'd be hitting things. This is so cool. We're driving through like a tunnel. And we still got a couple miles to go on this. I guess it's because it's a cloudy day and the radar station's on top of a mountain. I can't see it from the bottom. Other people's videos, they were able to see it from down here. I think it's because it's a cloudy day. It's very misty and foggy. But I love days like this. It's not cold out, it's nice. It's like 65 degrees right now, exactly, and this is beautiful. Now we're starting to get steep. This road's getting steep fast. But did you notice something? There's nowhere for me to pull over. Maybe I could pull over on some of the bushes and stuff, but I'd rather not. I'm just trying to get to a place right now. Oh, right here I could pass someone. Yeah, someone could pass right there. I can tell by the debris in the road, the way it's called, kind of balled up. This road has rapids of water going down it sometimes. We are, this road's getting steep. This is awesome. This is literally like a mountain auto road. It's basically what it is. We're going up, this is East Mountain, I think it's called. This drive alone is awesome and fun. Look at this, it's becoming misty. Cameras can see through mist to a degree. In real life, it's getting foggy up here. Look at this, look at the debris balled up around the corner. Rapids sometimes go through here. This hill's long. We're gonna need low gear on the way down. I just did Mount Washington Auto Road last week. I'm getting vibes of that. Going a little slow around the corners. Never know if another vehicle's coming. Keep the lights on for safety. Still got the flashing lights and the grill running, making myself as visible as possible for anyone else that could be out here. Gotta just keep it slow around the corners. And for anyone who likes to say I drive a little too fast on these roads, it's an optical illusion with the hood I've showed you before. See if I zoom in, see how slow it appears I'm going. It's because the closer objects are to you, the faster they seem to go by. I'm keeping it like 20 the whole way up. I'm actually in front of me. It's getting quite foggy. I don't know if that's showing up to you guys on the camera. I would love to have a driveway like this. This is so awesome. I'm sure it's not in the winter. I'm sure people take snowmobiles up here in the winter all the time. Wow, look at that tree. Someone had to cut that out of the way. I can tell it if today was sunny, the view would be awesome. I can see so far right now into the mist off the mountain to my left. It's getting rainier as we go up here. All the birds. Wow, the rock face right there on the side, that was cool. Oh, here's a good spot to pass people. I just, I would just hate to be the one backing up all that distance. Typically on these roads, you give the person going down the right of way. That's usually how it works when you're an off-roader. The person going down the hill has the right of way. The person going up, it's usually the one that needs to get over somewhere. I don't want to do that. This is like driving into a different world right now. It's so foggy. The trees are so green and beautiful. It's like a tunnel.
This is like mystical driving up here. Like a mystical adventure. Look how beautiful and green the trees are. The trees are getting short because we're up on the mountain and the smell of pine sap is so strong and awesome. I can't even put in the words how pretty this road is. It's very tight. I have to keep it really centered right here. I got like inches on each side of me. Oh, and we're here. Wow. We got all the way up here. This is going to be even cooler to film it with the fog. This is like creepy and mystical. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at this place. It's like we're looking at like spaceships in the distance. This is so cool. Let's drive down here and see how far the road goes. On Google Maps, it goes down the mountain slightly on the other side. Look at that giant tank. I bet that was fuel. There's a lawnmower right there. It doesn't look like anyone's here today. No one's ever exploring on rainy days, it seems. I don't know why. Yeah, see how it goes down right here? It looks like on the satellite image, there's going to be one more building. Yeah, there it is. And it looks like we can go up inside it. Wow, there's so many like passageways. There's so many places I can drive. I just have to keep a good lookout for anything that might be in the road. Like this piece of sheet metal in the road. And look at that, there's a tank right there. Look at that. Don't want to drive up there. All there was was another tank. Uh, uh. Careful. There's like no clearance, barely, from what I just went on. And am I even going to be able to turn around? There's nothing else on the map, so first chance I'm turning around. First chance. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be so mad if I have to back up through this. I'm being stupid. Come on, come on. Be a spot to turn around, please. Ah, oh, thank God. It looks like it's opening up. Is this another building or something? What is this? Look at look look at the trees just scraping over the windshield. Oh, through the window. Put the window up. Put both the windows up. Wow, thankfully we can turn around. You don't know how happy I am that I'm able to turn around. So I'm pretty good at backing up, but I know I'd be scratching against things a lot. And look at this. I'm, there's like not a lot of room to turn around my truck myself. Uh, is there even enough room behind me? There's not. I gotta like try to get myself over a little better. four-wheel drive. Wow, this truck does not want to do it. We gotta go forward and back a little with speed. Ah. <laughs> Pain in the butt. This is very, very tight. Man. Front and back, I'm bumping into the trees. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> that was, that, that, that was, I'm so glad that little turnaround was there. But I, you know, I figured in my head it had to be there because I can see lots of people drive down here. It's heavily traveled, so I just assumed there was a way to turn around and I was right. It's just instinct. This wouldn't be open like this otherwise. And see this, you gotta be careful. Look at this big piece of sharp duct work in the road, which I can't even see with the hood. Careful. Oh, I just hit the trees, driving around that piece of sheet metal too. Hopefully I don't have too many scratches, but this is, I bought this to be a work truck, so 
That's what we're doing with it. Uh, what's down this muddy, muddy dirt road? Hopefully not some sharp nails. No, nope, it goes to a beautiful campsite. Look at this. And I absolutely do not like what I'm driving on, so I'm gonna back all the way out of here. I literally just drove onto the foundation of a building, and if I drop off it, I'm stuck. Like I said, I'm pretty good at backing up. Just gotta concentrate and go nice and slow. That's how I am. Once I mess up, I'm just gonna keep on messing up over and over again. Uh, didn't swing wide enough. The backup camera does help a lot too. It truly does. Because this thing, this car literally knows where it is and it's telling me on the screen what angle to turn the wheel at so I don't hit things that it sees. I think we're literally gonna park right here. Let me back up again. All right, everyone, we are pulling into the first building. If you wanna see all the mayhem I just got into, having a turnaround on a dead end with like no space, check out my full length vlog of the entire drive up here. All right, so I'm gonna lock the truck because I have no idea who's out here. I could not have asked for a better day to be up here. I don't care that we're gonna have absolutely no view up here on the mountain. I'm just so thankful for the weather. It's 65 degrees, not cold. It's not pouring rain. I'm not going to get soaked, at least not yet. It's misting. It's mystical up here in a creepy way too. It's so beautiful out here. So what did this thing used to be? Is, just, is this just another tower? Back in the day up top, there was big satellite dishes like the, like the ones you see in movies for looking at aliens and stuff that would spin and rotate up here looking for anything during the back when there was nuclear threats back in the 50s and 60s that's what these were for but they this whole station closed down in 1963 as it was obsolete you see right here a fuel tank used to sit on those brackets right here's another generating building and you see somebody made a fire pit in there and the low class individuals who were camping up here decided to leave every little bit of garbage you know a lot of places would be not so angry about you camping up in here if it wasn't for that. Look at this, we're about to go up inside here. Hopefully we don't run into anyone. Look at this, is this like a trough? Is this for water? It just comes right out of the woods. But remember back in the day, there likely wasn't forest here. This is, actually I've seen pictures of this building back in the day. This whole mountain top was logged clear clear lines of sight i'm just looking maybe maybe in back in the day there used to be a drain which is now clogged look at there's another fire pit this is cool this is extremely cool this building all right look it's got a big hole here maybe there was like wood there or a piece of metal that someone stole like here look someone literally cut this out of the way so if there's like a crazy person up here you got to be very careful running back down here especially since this is wet wow this metal grating is so high quality from back in the day that's much thicker than what i've seen recently of course it's going to be pitch dark in here anyone up here just exploring got to be extremely careful where we're walking there are death drops everywhere As soon as I explore this whole building, I will feel a hundred times more safe, making sure no one's in here. This place is so leaky, I doubt anyone's just in here. It's all dripping water. There's beer cans everywhere. Right here, pretty sure is the toilet. Whoa. 
getting scared by my own shadow. How many floors do we think this is? Oh, I can see the roof. Maximum two more floors. Look, we don't have metal grating anymore because this isn't supposed to be wet and slippery. This is supposed to be indoors. Wow. Imagine the view we would have if it was a clear day. That's, this is beautiful, this fog. Oh, here's a, this is definitely a bathroom. You see where the sink used to be, the drain. There's the toilet hole. How much you want to bet somebody had fun and smashed the toilet right off? Yup, I see broken pieces of toilet down there. But I don't think the toilet fit through the window, so someone smashed it in here first. Look at the water dripping down the stairs. This is cool. These buildings are so tough. Anyone up here? Nope. All right, let's walk over here. And look how thick the reinforced concrete we're walking on is. It's very thick. And look at this, we got a little porch or is it another ladder going down? Here is option A onto the roof. And there is a going to be another option. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever explored. We're so deep in the wilderness. All right. And over here looks like another option. Look, there's a fire pit inside here. Got to watch out. There's so many holes in the floor from conduit and plumbing. Right here we have a little swimming pool area full of trash. And here is option B to get up onto the roof. Definitely the safer way. If I fell, I probably wouldn't be hurt. The other way, you could possibly fall off the whole building. All right, just gotta keep my three points of contact, which I'm doing with just a couple fingers less. It's so quiet here being in this little hole and echoey. Wow, we're on the roof. It's like a different world up here. You can't see a single thing. It's so quiet, there's no wind. It's so quiet, we're in the middle of nowhere. Look at this, someone's fireplace. I watched someone's exploring video five years ago. That hole wasn't there. Someone smashed that probably so the wind couldn't blow their fire out. Look at that, it's even got a little air supply going to the fire. There's no wind, nothing. I'm not gonna trust my life with these, even though they look very strong and creosote covered. I don't wanna stand on that wood. Don't even wanna walk out on this. At least a 50 foot drop, maybe more. This is beautiful. Looking down into the foggy, this fogginess. And look at this, here's a hoist. This is how they got big things up here onto the roof. We got a lot of bullet holes right there. That's some very thick metal. So here's a hoist. So whatever they had to get up on the roof, they must have brought it in another way, had to roll it in here and get it up. And so there is no way all the way down to the bottom. And look, there's an electrical plug. This is cool and creepy all at the same time. So how, how did this thing work? This is not a track, I'm assuming. I think this is what, just the concrete form? Or was this a track for the giant satellite to be spinning on? I really, really don't know. I don't think it was a track, no, but looks like it. Look at this, the roof drains are clogged. I wonder if that could actually be opened up with a pipe snake or not. 
Yeah, I would be thinking something like that. So this right here was the other option of getting up here. This is definitely the more sketchy option. I think it's actually very hard to actually fall off this thing with these guards. But still, you know, up here, I didn't even notice. It's so foggy. I didn't even notice that we could see the other towers. Look at that. The third tower that's really far back there. I, oh, it's, it's right there. So there's two of them that, yeah, it's so foggy. I can, didn't even notice that until like five minutes of being up here. Look at this, the poop deck. That's the toilet. It says shit here. What is this part though? Oh, look at this. Someone probably ripped these off, but a few pieces are missing. Someone probably just wanted firewood. Because you got to carry literally everything up here. All right, let's go back down. Let's go over to the other towers and do some exploring. I want to have good contact, so I'm going to put the camera down for this part of the adventure. So, I'm now realizing every other explorer who came out here... There was no cell phone service, but I am having like 5G service, five bars, the best service I could possibly have. 5G is a new thing, so that's probably why. There's probably a brand new tower somewhere around here. The service out here is just amazing. Can't believe it. All right, coming back out. A little dangerous right here. Everything is extremely slippery. That's what it is. If I was here on a summer day, I wouldn't need to be as cautious. Still very cautious, but you know what I mean. Look at this. Whoa, and the danger's over. I don't think I'm going to move the truck. We're just going to walk to the next tower. I highly doubt we're going to encounter anybody out here. Wow. This is definitely one of the top, most awesome places to I've ever been to. And it's mainly because of the fog. So there's four towers. That one you just could not possibly see from that over there. It's just too foggy. More foggy when you're up top. So I'm guessing all this is drainage probably going around. Or maybe they used to have covers and they were for running wires or something. Uh, this is the metal grating I'm used to seeing. Now you guys can see how heavy duty the other side was. Is this the only way in? Is very sketchy what I'm walking on. Ah, oh, the whole floor is rusted out. Look at that. We got a tetanus nightmare in here. Look at the floor. The floor is so thin and rusted out. You got to step with caution everywhere. They decided not to do reinforced concrete in this one. And look at how dangerous this is. You could fall through there, basically anywhere, and get your legs just cut open. So I'm walking where I know the beams are. This is not good. See that? Someone probably had their leg go through there. It's pretty sharp. Yeah, if I just try darting and running across this building, I'm gonna fall. I've never seen something like this in my life, a floor of crumbling sheet metal. But we go over here to the galvanized staircase, and look how nice it is. These are really nice, high-quality steps. I absolutely love industrial stuff. I wish I had stairs like this at home. Oh my gosh, look at this. Don't even feel safe walking through here. Look at this. That's not gonna hold my weight. 
have to stand on the beams. Look at this. There's a death drop beneath me, holding on tightly to the wall. All right. At least this place is short. It's not tall. Probably the reason why they built it this way. Woo. All right. I'm looking very carefully at the way this is bent and stuff, making sure I walk only where the riveting is because I know there's a beam underneath it. Where are the stairs? Oh, there's gonna be a ladder. Where's the ladder? It's gotta be behind here or inside there. You see that right there, see those brackets? There used to be a hoist. Then they move it in there and hoist it again, just like the other building. Gotta be careful where I'm walking. Look at this, this is so nice, the galvanized framing of the building. But the flooring is like the worst stuff I've ever seen in my life. The smell of rust in here is the strongest I've ever smelled in my life anywhere. If you know what that smells like, you know, you, you ever touch anything that leaves your hand orange? Well, that's this place. I am not seeing a ladder. We gotta look in this room, if that's doable. I'm hugging the building because I can see where the beams are. Massive hole right here. Oh my gosh, is this door open? Nope, that thing is seized. Once I get the hang of it, this is not even that bad. My body is just acting as if this is like not here right now. Having fears of walking anywhere. Cause I'm, I'm, see this? I'm too heavy for any of that. Oh, almost made a wrong step there, although that doesn't look too bad. It's there. Yep, the ladder's in there. Gotta find a way in. I'm gonna put you guys down. I want another hand. The roof is literally no better. Look at this. It's just a false sense of security. It's the same garbage thin sheet metal with rotten plywood underneath it. And I can tell the roof was probably covered in gravel to protect it from the sun. That's what it looks like to me. Got the big hatch here for the crane. This is a very sketchy one to be up on. Seriously. Someone was having fun up here shooting at things. Absolutely. All over the ground are shells. <clears throat> Just looking at what size they are. Two thirty. I would have guessed two two three. Is someone here? No, I heard like a whoop. There's a piece of sheet metal getting moved in the slight wind or something. It's like perfectly still here, but I hear the same noise over and over again, like a little yelp. Has to be a piece of metal. It keeps going at the same pace. Now we're going to try to get up on this second. This actually looks like the tallest tower. Yeah, it's even taller than the first one. Look up top, it's all rotten. All right, we got to get back down and I'm going to do it off camera because this is like a death trap in there. You need extra hands to hold on to the wall. That's how bad the floor is. No, there's five of them. Wow. And here's the biggest one. 
Hopefully this is built like the first one. It looks like it, except the first one doesn't have a bottom floor. These two are probably gonna be like that. A nightmare to walk in. Anyone in here? Hear that noise? That's what I thought was something. Look at the evidence of low-class individuals in here. So much garbage. This is like, there's no way in from here. We gotta go back outside. So far, the first building is my favorite. These ones are scary to walk in. No, but I, I gotta say, they're fun. Whoa! Is that poor guy trapped? I'd say yeah. Let's get down there and see if we can rescue him. I'll try to rescue him, at least if I can move that piece of sheet metal. Buddy. Come on out. Come on out. I want to try moving this, but I feel like I'm going to crush him. There's a massive toad in there. Now I gotta <sighs> pull myself out. So this is what the guy on the roof was shooting at. Looks like Bigfoot was a little too fat for going in this one. All right, this one's not rotted out as much. Still wanna be very careful. The roof is a little bit better, but I'm still walking on the riveted section. Yeah, Bigfoot definitely went up here. Getting too fat to be walking in these places. All right. I'm gonna feel that pull up later. I can already feel it. looking for the ladder. Be careful what I'm walking on. Not nearly as bad as the other building, but definitely worse here up on the second floor. Bunch of insulation all over the place. That is cool. The moss starting to grow. It looks like maybe, I don't know if there's something there, so. This looks very stable though, this section. That's a very, very sketchy ladder. That one you could literally fall. There's no guard or anything. But if we walk over here into this flooded room. Oh, I, I didn't realize that. There's beams here in the middle too. Oh, but that one's broken. Good thing I tested it. We'll just stay on the bigger parts like I have been. Get my arm around the corner and into the slot. Now this, I'm assuming the floor is built better. No, it doesn't seem like it, but it's watertight. Testing with each step. But I feel like someone else would have broken it. Is that a bunch of fireworks? Oh, it started misting again a lot. Yep, I know I just did a safety violation there. All right, getting up onto this roof. Lots of fireworks. 
tons of fireworks around here. This building's cool too, but not as cool as the last rusty one. That looked like a literal spaceship from the top. This one's in much better condition. Now we gotta find a way in there. And this one I actually feel safe enough walking across any of it. So we have one more radar tower to explore after the big boy. And we have another housing building. And who knows what other shacks we might find in the woods. Look at the size of that tank. I doubt I can budge it, but that would be kind of fun to roll it. It looks like nothing's holding it. All right, let's get back down and out of this one. All right, we're down. Yeah, there's even the smallest rock would stop me from budging this thing. But of course, the thoughts in my head. Oh my God, we actually, I'm getting it to move. Maybe if we rock it enough. It's moving more as we rock it. Uh. Uh. Almost. Second person, we'd get it to move a little. Here's a fire pit in here. Out of part of an old trash can. Probably more generators in here. Look at this. It's all welded shut. The last place, we didn't even need a... Ew! Look at that. Probably more generators and electrical stuff. Another door that's probably not open, right? Welded shut. It looks like this place was well secured when it was first abandoned, meaning they may have thought about reusing it. Look at that lawnmower. Someone just poured gas and lit it up. Is it even possible to get on top of this one? Hot water supply, it says on all those pipes. Another pad outside, maybe I don't know where that big fuel tank was stationed. I don't know, I got good hopes about this one. Look at this, they really welded this thing shut, but someone came in here with a cutting blade. Oh, stairs, look how creepy this looks. This is the room we were just in at the beginning, so. Anyone up here? Just exploring. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a prison. Look at this, there's got to be at least five levels of just great. Like I said earlier, we just got to explore it once. And then we're going to feel safe the rest of the day here. Wow. This place is incredible. What do you guys think these pipes used to do? All I can smell is rust. I don't smell mold. I do smell tons of fire. Look at this. Pitch dark. And here's that noise I've been hearing. What is it? Wow. Pitch dark. Yeah, it's a raindrop falling on something, probably a beer can. Wow. We're only halfway up. Biggest tower yet. Finally, some daylight. Why don't the stairs go up to the roof? I wonder on any of these. Yeah, it's a beer can. And look, this is gonna be an easy one to get up on. 
There's a fire pit in here. Is this just debris coming off the roof or was someone smart enough to like make a pile so they wouldn't damage the concrete or whatever? I'm having a good time. I gotta be careful on this floor. It's not concrete like it appears. It's more of that. That's actually, I think, thicker metal or it just hasn't been exposed to the elements enough to. Here's a, here's a way outside. That's very sketchy going up to a half destroyed deck. It's so foggy we can't even see the ground really. But we got one more tower over there. That is cool. We gotta take a picture of that. Amazing stuff. Now we gotta get up onto the roof. Look at the size of this exhaust fan. Well, the fan's not there anymore, but that is awesome. What kind of machines would have been in here that w would need cooling like that? Or was that just for the people working on it, making a nice fresh breeze? Look at this. It, it, this is all from people exploring and camping, but yet it looks like a homeless camp. Some of the garbage and debris that's left in here. Okay, now we're gonna make our way up top. I wanna hold the camera with the other hand because I find, I think the fingers on that hand are much stronger and I can keep my three points of contact. This is what's all over the ground outside. Insulation, hopefully it's not asbestos. Although everything's wet, there's fog on everything. So I highly doubt anything is airborne. And yes, look at the top of this one. They got like gravel and stuff on the roof to protect the tar from the sun. The tar lasts longer if it's covered with gravel or something. They still do that even these days on flat roof buildings. Hey look, no, this was actually on top of the tar. They poured a little thin layer of concrete. What do you guys think of that? I know this place has been abandoned for a while, but that thin layer and being out here in a place that gets extreme winters doesn't seem like the best idea. And then you got a storm drain here so you can see where the concrete would have been up to. Wow, we're so high off the ground. Look at that. We are way up here. How many stories do you think this is? Five, six at least? You can see someone did a burnout down there. It's sad, look at the amount of trash and garbage up here. This is the best place I've ever explored though by far. You see, this is all scrappers stealing the metal decking. And this wooden decking, I'm assuming people ripped it out probably for firewood or just for the point of vandalism. I definitely don't feel safe going out on that. Well, the metal part, absolutely. That I can visually see would hold me. It's the risk of going out there is the thing. So this entire contraption is completely separate from the hoist. So what exactly is this? Is this piping system, is this just structural to hold something? Because it, it appears these pipes didn't have anything flowing through them or anything. Let's see if we can walk out here. This right here, look at it all. That's so much tar, they just poured all around that. Yeah, this railing's kind of rotten. This looks like spaceships. Out here in the middle of the fog. It's so quiet out here. All right, it's time to go back down. I don't know if anyone happened to notice, but when I was going down the ladder, 
it appears the flashing on the building is all made out of copper. I'm surprised more of that's not missing. That, that's, that loud squeaking noise, I think, is a piece of like a beer can. Now that we're up here and it's louder, it kind of sounds like a chicken or something on a farm. Look how far down that goes. Woo! None of these buildings have a good echo. Not really. I just realized the stairs are tighter down here, the headroom. And now let's go across the road. It seems higher up from the top than it does down here. Yeah, this building's been scrapped a lot, it looks like. So it looks like this was all covered with grate covers or just flat pieces of metal, maybe for switching out wires and things. Because a place like this, it looks like it had a lot of wiring runs so they could constantly be replacing things putting new wires, adding new stuff. Right here we got a little shooting range and I didn't even realize this place has a downstairs until just now. Is this blower fan right here? Is this thing seized up or can we spin it? It looks pretty greased up. No, that is not budging. This is a big blower fan, and it's probably that trash can someone threw in there is the reason it's not able to spin. But this is really cool. It blew this way. But back here's the grate. So this probably had, what, like a little room around it so it could capture this. And the zigzag, was that like a filter? I think that may have been like a filter. Look at, there's the air duct going all the way up. That's pretty cool. And we are on the side of a mountain. You see the building is slowly slipping down the mountain. Look at all the duct work and debris down there just covered in moss. I wanna get down on my knees and look down here. This might not be the place we wanna actually walk down. There's so much stuff. Duct work collapsing, which appears to be covered in asbestos. And down there actually looks dry. Thankfully, the mist and everything up here is coating everything in water, so it's not as big of a deal. I do see a trail here, so I want to take and see what's up. And we got a slug friend right there on the wall. Hopefully, we don't find something like an angry bear living in one of these or something creature getting kind of soaked right now rubbing up against these trees yep there's a way in yeah nothing really to see I have no reason to go in there this area it smells so good the pine the forest it smells so fresh and pristine out here. Look at that telephone pole. See it knocked over with the top. Just walking here in the woods behind this place. It's so peaceful. Look at the moss. It's because when you're on top of a mountain like this, it's foggy like this nearly every day. 
so it turns into like a little rainforest. Look at this trail, it's like dominant going through here. This looks like a trail though, going back up where I want to go. No, it doesn't. Look, this whole wall is slowly moving. It looks like if I keep following the trail, I might be able to get back up to the road. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to backtrack. It looks like the trail, yeah, I can see everything's broken off where people walk. I see beer cans and insulators from the telephone pole, like right here. This is likely, yeah, they 100% had to have been making their own power out here. It's a good thing I followed the trail. I wouldn't have found this out here. A very dilapidated building. Oh, this is where I drove my car. So we're just going to go out this way and walk back up the road. Were they nice enough to wash the tank before abandoning it? I can't really see the footage, but does it look like there's sludge or anything from diesel not being cleaned? All right, we're now walking over to the final tower we're going to take a look at. I would love to snowmobile up here someday. I thought about driving here sometime in the winter. The only thing is I wouldn't know what I was getting myself into because let's say the forecast called for a foot of snow at the bottom of the mountain. You have no forecast up here. Up here they're gonna get left probably like three times as much snow. All right, we gotta go in here. This one, I have very low hopes for safety. It'll probably be like the first one. Should have wrote this backwards. If you're looking, shows in the bottom of the floor. If you're looking, shoes in the bottom of the floor. I don't get it, but yeah, I do at the same time. I think it's a, to warn people about the floor. And I put my headlamp on backwards, oops. Or maybe the graffiti is saying somebody lost their shoes down inside the floor. Because this floor is 100% dangerous, but it's not as bad as the first one we encountered. I just want to walk along the seams. Lots of garbage. Someone's entire cooler. All right, we're coming over here to the stairs. Walking on the seams. All right, we're now on some nice strong stairs and somebody with bolt cutters cut this for absolutely no reason or maybe they thought about stealing it but didn't. Felt like I'm the first one to flip that in a while. You saw how it had trouble throwing. Look at these marks. That actually looks really cool. I'm guessing there's a bullet hole on the other side, maybe. Maybe it was going slow because the other wall slowed it down. Mm. And like the others, I'm assuming our way in is inside the hoist shaft right over here. I doubt there's anyone in here. We don't gotta look around the corner. Yeah, not as bad as the first one. The first building, I didn't even want to show it on camera because this was so bad, even the beams that I wanted to hold on were really strong to these. Going up. It looks like the mist is picking up, but the mist is beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, it's misting a little stronger now. Ooh, I just stood here and it went tss. Nice. This is a beautiful place to take photographs.
This place being misty makes it look creepier. It gives all the stuff like an alien spaceship look. I think my favorite picture so far was looking down from the big one and standing on top of the first one. The first one looked really cool with the railing completely intact going around it. Got some metal grating going around. That's all very thick metal. And I think we're gonna go back down. I don't see any other structures. I'm sure there's foundations of little shacks and things in the woods. I'm just not seeing them. The place is so overgrown. And just looking around in the woods, I'm not seeing any suspicious looking clearings, anything preventing the trees from growing. Nothing like that. I see a big fire pit in the middle. This place is nice. Fantastic. What do you guys think this whole thing is coming out? Like another type of hoist? Or right here? Another spot where Bigfoot fell through the floor, like in the first place. All right, we're gonna make our way back down out of here. Look at that hole, it's like breathing. I think it's been years since I've been in a forest that is just so perfect. These trees just driving up the road here. They look so healthy. I don't see anything dying even from last year's drought. Either everything recovered or because we're so high up, it's just so moist and cool all the time. This place, it smells like you're in a, it smells like a pine everywhere. I know they're not pine trees. I know they're balsam fir, but it, that's what, you know, the sap, the smell, it smells amazing up here because the trees up here are so healthy. When a tree is healthy, it's dripping sap all over itself to protect itself from bugs. That's why you can smell it so strong. Everything up here is just extremely healthy. It's just amazing. I love this place so much. It's beautiful. Absolutely breathtaking up here. All right, we got this giant tank here that I just tried rolling a little bit. We can't roll it far, obviously, and there's no way to turn it, you know what I mean? I just want to roll it a little bit. I tried rolling it, but it was getting stuck on something. Something as small as that will stop this thing from rolling. I don't see anything else substantial in there. I want to try rocking and rolling this thing one more time. If I had a second person with me, this thing would totally roll. I got it to move a few inches before. Maybe that rock is what was holding it. I doubt it. But every time I rock it, it rolls more. Oh. 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 Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna do it. Oh my gosh, next time, next time around. And I'm only doing it with one hand. All right, all right. Wow. One more time. Ooh. What is this thing? Like a 10,000, 12,000 gallon tank for fuel? Just pushing that back and forth, that's quite the workout. Well everyone, today's video was awesome. And we are out of here. I can't believe the amount of pine needles I got in the car. Because I had the windows open.
Not a big deal though. Time to get out. Ooh, we even got a, a my pants a spider friend in here. Just gotta poke him out the window. There's like no room to back up right there. I gotta come up here a little bit. Oh no. Let's get to a flat spot up here. It feels like I might have a flat tire, honestly. I hope not. That felt a little weird how I just lost traction right there. I gotta get out for a minute. I'm just gonna stop where it's flat. Just in case I have to actually do that. Perfect spot right here to change a tire. I really hope I don't have a flat. But I'm prepared for it. No, I don't have a flat tire, but look where my tire is. Look at this. The entire road is nails. So I best drive slow until I get out of this section. Got to keep that in mind next time I come up here. I don't think I got any in my tire, but we'll know soon enough. Let's get out of here before we notice anything leaking though. Yeah, so I literally parked on thousands and thousands of nails right now. And now we're gonna make our way all the way down the mountain. We don't need four wheel drive anymore. We're good. I think all those nails are just laying flat, so I think we got lucky. I sure did get muddy on these roads though. The logging section part of it, not the paved part right here. Just washed the truck a few days ago and um, yeah, I can never manage to keep it clean. I just keep doing this stuff every day. At least going down now, I technically have the right of way. I'm backing up for a second because that looked cool. I just saw a little, little teeny road right here which is also paved. Where does this go? It looks like a dead end though. That's okay. It's not too much of a place to back out of. Yeah, it looks like a dead end. It looks like I can turn around though here. The clearance is so low. Oh my gosh, is this another building? Yes, it is. Cool, let's get out. Yeah, look at this. There's pavement here. Another big fuel tank. Maybe a pad for a generator. Uh, I don't know if this tank is leaking or I'm just smelling it out of the top. This entire area is reeking of diesel fuel. I think it's spilling somewhere. This is creepy. Finally, a good echo. It's just another building with a bunch of areas for wire runs. I would love to have a house in a place like this on a mountain. Not, not because it's high up, but because of the fog an extremely healthy forest. Okay, it wasn't much, but that was really cool driving down here. I'm just gonna back out because I think that's the best way to get out of here. I just gotta be careful. This is a very, very tight road. I'm rubbing the, the roof of the car right now. This road is so tight. Wow. Thank you. 
It's just beautiful out here though. This area kind of reminds me of Washington or Oregon, their rainforests. And now it's time to go down the mountain. We're gonna want to use low gears because this is literally like miles of downhill. We're in second gear. I don't think we need first quite yet, if at all. Uh, I dodged that one fast. That was a good branch that would have scratched the roof. Temperature's rising fast, because, you know, it's, like, we got here in the morning. I didn't spend much time here, but it, it's already went up a couple degrees. Beavers are a hundred percent about to flood this road. Did you just see above us? There was power lines. So this whole place, it's, it appears that every building had its own generator or those were just heating systems that were separate from the building. Where have I seen that before? We explored some complex at some point where the heating systems were all in centralized buildings. It's just like New York City, how they have steam pipes. The older buildings in New York City don't have their own heating system. There's one central system that's pumping out steam to every building around it, which is far more efficient than the newer buildings that have their own system. So I'm wondering if they had a similar system out here, a big central boiler, although every building seems to have one. I just seen power lines going above us, so that's making me think they had one centralized power plant, and those are just heating systems. What do you guys think? I tried to keep the air conditioning off in here, even though I'm kind of hot because of the noise, but I might have to turn it on. It looks like the windshield is starting to fog, and I want to slow it down and get into first gear because, yeah. This is starting to get steeper and I'm having to hit the brakes a lot. Alright, we gotta get some something out to the windshield. Just a little bit of air. A little bit of heat actually. It's starting to fog up in here. Keeping it nice and slow now around these corners. leaves falling. Pretty soon it'll be winter up here. And I, you know, I, I would say that it would be nice to come back here with no leaves on the trees, but I, I, that really wouldn't make a difference. They're all evergreen up there at the top, which is really cool. I'm starting to get hungry even though I had a good breakfast walking around up there. That really works up an appetite. Maybe I'll stop somewhere on the way home. I've got about nearly three hours to drive now. Look at all the leaves around the corner. See how they're all bunched up from water? There's a guardrail here. I didn't even notice that at the beginning when we were going up. I didn't notice there was a guardrail. This is kind of a spooky road. 
like around one of the corners there's going to be barbed wire going right across the road that wasn't there on the way up this road gives off that kind of vibe spooky haunted vibe but pretty soon this entire place will belong to the beavers I can see the potential of them making the water so deep in that area that nobody can drive through it safely, causing more erosion and stuff. I can see it. That's a huge culvert pipe, but it's almost all completely blocked already by the beaver friends. And yeah, that dam wasn't there a couple years ago in other people's videos. That wasn't flooded at all. I'm sure the, actually the dam may have been there but maybe not because none of those trees are dying so I think that's a first year dam look at those trees that are stuck those will be coming down across the road pretty soon not worried about it somebody's gonna chainsaw it just like I think I think if the road floods up here eventually somebody will take care of it maybe myself if that if I want to come up here again bad enough because this right here is like at least an hour hike if the road was closed. Still not that big of a deal though, even if we had to walk it. But if this road becomes closed because of those beavers, mark my words, this road, give it just two years. These trees are going to fill in so fast without vehicles going by them. This road will be impassable to a car extremely fast if that were to happen. And I'm imagining there's two lanes in here. There has to be. It's just grown in. And here we are coming up to the beavers. I see the end of the pavement and I see that gigantic tank in the road. That actually looks like a little spot people drive in. And right here we are driving back down into the beaver area. Just got to be careful not to brush against. You see that big tree stump to the left? Coming down into the water carefully I kind of want to get out for a minute and look for angry beavers as soon as we get to a spot where we're not blocking yep I'm gonna drive up here I'm gonna back up a little bit up to the tank so someone else could potentially get by or no I'll just park here there's plenty of space right here look at this yeah we'll just park here look at all the water coming down the road totally enough room for anything to go by me got a good amount of water going through here look guardrail all along I didn't even notice that imagine what a beautiful place this was with a big view off to the sides of the wetland yeah this is not bad at all you know I, when I first saw people's videos from like five years ago, this pavement went right up to here with a sharp drop. So you needed a good amount of clearance now that it's kind of flattened itself out. Even a small SUV could probably get through there. Look at this. Down here, there's no fog or mist. But look, this is why we couldn't see anything. If it wasn't for the mist and fog right up there, you would see all those towers we went up in. Now let's see what these beavers are up to. Now let's take a look inside this big tank. It looks like, see this, this recently moved. I think people maybe tried pushing it or winching it. Look at the tank. Oh, look, there used to be a sign saying no vehicles, but it doesn't apply anymore. It looks like they actually cleaned this tank out. Yeah, that's why it's cut. A guy had to come in here and clean it, just like the one at the top. What's this? A grounding rod from the tank? No. What is this magnet for? Oh, it's a stick-on CB radio. Antenna. That's a giant fuel tank. And here's the culvert, big culvert. Look at the size of this beaver dam. That uh, culvert's in good shape. Really thick metal. Yeah, this is a very fresh beaver dam. 
from the rain there's a good amount of water part of it right there even failed a little bit that's a very fresh dam and with all this rain come tonight look at all the material the beavers have they don't even have to go far they can get this thing so much higher but then their challenge is this dam now has to come across the road if they want it to get any higher easy for a beaver especially if a, if a car doesn't come by here for a couple days these beavers will get a little dam here but the thing is a vehicle going through it I, I honestly think the beavers are going to beat it eventually i think the beavers will make this tall enough where the average vehicle can't go through it yep that's what i can see happening but i also see somebody getting in there and battling these beavers like if i came through here and this was a little too deep for comfort i totally slice the dam to get through here Yep, I can see the beavers making it impassable. But like I said, there is parking here. Maybe even parking from people who don't want to drive through this. And I, I, I honestly wouldn't mind the maybe one hour hike up top there if it ever became that impassable and I wanted to come out here again. Thankfully, there is no sign of a flat tire yet, which is awesome because I drove through thousands of nails up there. This is a fun road with this water. I love this. I feel like this trip is a hundred times better since we came out here in the rain. I feel like that made things just so much more enjoyable. And here we are down to the bottom. I hope today's video is interesting everybody. And before I leave, I'm actually going to turn around because that road we just went by, that logging road, it doesn't look like they're logging up here at the moment, but I kind of want to explore it before we head out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn around in this place. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. All right, this looks a lot worse than it is. I'm pretty sure this is the water that's going down to that beaver swamp where they have it flooded. At le it's at least part of it. This water's definitely going there. I don't know where this road goes. This may actually connect to where I was forced to turn around. It may have been a big loop going around to the base at some point. But I just tried to go over this, but I, I slowly let the wheel go down. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to hit that. And I almost couldn't back up after that. So we're done exploring here. We're out of here.